Hello! Welcome to the Closer Looks uh, paintings. Today I'm going to be looking at this one, the uh, John Bon Jovi one that I finished uh, a few weeks ago. Um, as you can see, first up is a mix between pop art, and I guess this is sort of abstract. Uh, the idea was to uh, mix the two stars, and um, it kind of looked like he's dripping off the canvas, which kind of works. So, let's uh, dive in and have a closer look at it. So here he is, Mr. John Bon Jovi. Um, let's start on his face, shall we? As you can see, the uh, various tones of grey. It's looking a bit yellow, but that's because of my light. Let me move the light a bit. There we are. Um, as you can see when you get close, you can see there's quite a bit of texture on him. Texture from the paintbrush marks, especially on the white. White, I always find, shows up a bit more um, because it shadows deeper. And, uh, well, that's his face, really. It's just made up of basic shapes. And um, put them all together, what do you got? Um, we've got the various... Um, we've got the various different tones, different shades, going into the white, um, which make up the curve of his face. Uh, the white background, just the stage, this is just to you know, give a, an idea of the background, but I took out most of the stuff that was on the original reference photograph. Um, goes down to his chest with his, I guess, this is just signifies all the medallions I think he had around his neck, or necklaces, whatever you want to call them. Um, and if you notice, it's got a strange composition on it. Um, I've cut the top off. I can't remember if the original reference photograph was like this or not, but I come back. I really like how, oop, focus, I really like how he sort of it looks like it's just passing by, <laughs> just passing by the photograph, just not really looking, looking out into the crowd and um, kind of ignoring the viewer who's viewing the painting. So that's why I cut off the top of his head. Um, I kind of like it, I think it looks good, good. And you can see here, this is his mic stand. And then his guitar, so the guitar this is where we've got the drips. Just all the basic colours running off of the uh, main ones. So I've just took the, like, the dark grey there and just ran it down. How do I do this? Very simple, very, very simple. All you do is water down the colour a lot and drip it. So I would paint a blob there and let it drip. And then when it's dry, go over it again to thicken it up. Um, because it, in the contrast, the pop-up style, which is very bold and um, solid, the wishy washiness drips weren't working on this one. Uh, the one I did at the Joker, if you see it, that's got a lot of wishy-washy um, drops on. This are much harder. Drips, sorry. This, these are much uh, more solid drips. So here, coming all down, this black I did with ink. So this is acrylic, but then I dripped black ink all down it, and that's what gave me the very naturalistic drips. Um, of course this, and I painted over it to give it sort of the two dimensions, or the depth, um, all coming off the guitar. Also, the great thing about doing this style is you can cover up complicated or bits that annoy you, so it's quite fun. Um, what else can I was say? He's painting acrylic and household paints, and um, he's pretty damn cool. I'm very happy with him. So, uh, I have actually done speed painting of this painting. You can see it here. I'll put a little link up. Go watch the painting being created. Then you can come here and just have a close up of it. Um, enjoy. Thank you. Bye bye.